हेलो हेल्थ केयर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू आवर हेल्थ केयर इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज गैस्टन एडमिन ऑफ द हेल्थ केयर इंजीनियरिंग टीम वी आर हैप्पी टू रिलीज अनदर वीडियो अंडर मेडिकल डिवाइसेस सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डायलिसिस मशीन inside our human body we have our own filtering system which is made by kidney we need dialysis machine when we don't have a healthy kidney dialysis machine is a life supporting device when we have the problems in the kidney apart from this information how much do we know about dialysis machines our team member sumita is explaining in a very deep manner all about dialysis machine how to use dialysis machine what are the advantages we get from the dialysis machine how to take care of the dialysis machine and many more in a deep manner before get into the topic i would like to request you all to subscribe and share our youtube channel to show us your huge support to our entire healthcare engineering team without further ado let's get into the video dear healthcare professionals welcome to healthcare engineering I am Sumita a biomedical engineer from healthcare engineering team me and my team has got you all an opportunity to learn and improve your skills with amazing presentations we are going to share our knowledge and experiences what we gain from the industry i strongly believe that all kind of healthcare professionals and students can learn a lot from our youtube channel and blog by knowing the trends in modern healthcare world Therefore I would like to welcome you all to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get instant updates of a new informative video Also you can visit our blog www.learnbiomedengine.blogspot.com to learn more on the concepts we share in our videos We can help you out in advertising your healthcare products we can promote your healthcare events we can provide technical support for your medical devices as well and many more online supports we provide to boost up your healthcare business if you are interested to get support from us please contact our admin to the given mail id our healthcare engineering team is also active in social media platforms twitter facebook telegram whatsapp instagram and linkedin You can follow us in the social media groups and the link will be given in the description below. I once again welcome you all before entering into the presentation on dialysis machine. Before knowing about the process of dialysis, let us now see the functions of kidney. A normal kidney performs both filtration and cleaning process in the human body. It filters the impurities from the blood. and removes extra toxins excess water and other chemicals from the body kidney also helps in regulating blood pressure and other elements like sodium potassium and bicarbonate in the body it also provides vitamin d then why dialysis is needed dialysis is a procedure carried out in individuals having kidney failure kidney failure is a condition in which The kidney's ability to remove toxins and excess fluid from the body fails. Therefore, dialysis is an alternative medical procedure that assists in kidney failure. There are two types of dialysis. They are hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. What is hemodialysis? Hemodialysis is a, a very long process and it is the most commonly used method. Hemodialysis consists of a dialyzer also known as an artificial kidney. This dialyzer removes excess waste and excess fluids from the blood. The artificial kidney purifies the blood and it is then returned back to the patient's body. During hemodialysis, the surgeon performs an operation to remove the blood from the patient's body and allow it to enter into the dialysis machine. The process of hemodialysis lasts up to 3 to 5 hours and it is done 3 times per week. It also depends upon the patient's condition on how much waste is accumulated in the body. 
patients must undergo hemodialysis in hospitals and dialysis centers there are a specific operating procedures that are performed during dialysis the major one is arteriovenous fistula that is av fistula operation av fistula is most commonly preferred for long term treatments av fistula is a surgical connection made between the artery and vein impure blood is removed from the surgical site through a catheter for filtration and purified blood is entered into the body another type is the av graft if the blood vessel does not support adequate blood flow then the surgeon connects a plastic tube or catheter for easier flow of blood this type is known as av graft another method called vascular access catheter is also performed in this method the catheter is inserted into the large vein in the neck what is peritoneal dialysis peritoneal dialysis can be performed by the individual at home it consists of a dialysate catheter and a drainage bag catheter is inserted into the peritoneum region a membrane covering the abdomen dialysate is then passed through the catheter and it enters the abdomen this dialysate absorbs excess waste and fluids from the blood and then it is allowed to drain it gets collected in the drainage bag the peritoneal dialysis process takes only few hours and it is done 5 to 6 times a day one can undergo this method even when sleeping or walking Peritoneal dialysis is done to patients having acute renal failure which lasts up to a short span of time and recovers automatically. Peritoneal dialysis is performed in three ways: continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis. This method is performed several times in a day. During this process, the patient must be awake. This method does not need any machine. The another one is continuous cycling peritoneal dialysis in this method a machine is used for sending the dialysate into the peritoneum region and also for removing the drainage from the abdominal cavity this must be performed only when the patient falls asleep the third one is intermittent peritoneal dialysis this is similar to continuous cycling peritoneal dialysis but it takes longer time and it is performed in the hospital and now finally we are going to see about dialysis machine what is dialysis machine a dialysis machine is a therapeutic device used in the process of dialysis for removing excess waste and also for purifying the blood it consists of a dialyzer also known as an artificial kidney The dialyzer is a semi-permeable membrane which consists of dialysate that is a mixture of water and electrolytes. Blood is removed from the patient's body through a catheter and it is allowed to enter the dialyzer. Blood is purified in the dialyzer and is pumped back to the patient's body. Excess amount of urea and salt from the blood is removed by the dialyzer. And anticoagulant injection that is heparin injection is also present in order to prevent the blood from clotting let us now see the functioning of dialysis machine in the last slide we have already learnt about the dialyzer in this machine it consists of a heater purified blood from the dialysis machine is warmed by the heater before allowing it to enter into the patient body therefore the temperature maintained is maintained between 36 to 42 degrees celsius if the temperature rises in the machine safety cut valve is used to switch off the heater the dialysate solution maintains the blood at a particular temperature this is because higher temperature will damage the blood components for controlling the temperature in the machine It consists of a thermostat and a proportional controller. This controls the power given to the heater. Pressure in the dialysis machine is monitored by the transducer. 
Negative pressure in the dialysate is created by effluent pump. Therefore, if pressure raises, effluent pump goes off. Dialysis machine also consists of a blood leak detector to monitor any leakage in the tubings or any other part of the machine. After completing the purification process, the used dialysate enter into the waste collecting tank. Purified blood passes through the patient body. Sensors, air detector and alarms are also found in the dialysis machine. What is the use of sensors? Sensors are used for monitoring various parameters in the circuit. This includes parameters like blood pressure, dialyzer pressure gradient, temperature, oxygen saturation, etc. Air detector is used near the venous pressure line. This is used to detect any air leakage or presence of any air molecules in the blood entering the patient's body. Alarms are used to prevent errors occurring in the functioning of the machine. This is used to detect blood flow, blood pressure, temperature and the mixture of dialysate. Principle of Dialysis The main principle of dialysis is based on diffusion and ultrafiltration. What is diffusion? In diffusion, fluid flows from high concentration to low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. In this process, impurities from blood diffuse into the dialysate, whereas electrolytes and other minerals diffuse into the blood from the dialysate. Therefore, purified blood is allowed to enter into the body and the dialysate is pumped out. And in ultrafiltration, ultrafiltration is the process of removing excess fluid from the body from positive to negative pressure gradient that is higher pressure to a lower pressure. Here blood comes under positive pressure and dialysate comes under negative pressure. We'll now move on to the components of dialysis machine and its functions. The first one is a dialyzer. What is a dialyzer? Dialyzer is also known as artificial kidney. It is filled with a combination of water and electrolytes called dialysate. In this dialyzer, blood is filtered and then purified. The other components include blood pump and tubings, syringe and pressure monitors. Blood pump A blood pump is used to pump blood from the body to the dialysis machine. What is the use of syringe in dialysis machine? As we already know about anticoagulant injection which is called heparin. A drug called heparin is used in the syringe. This is used to prevent blood clotting. Pressure monitors are of two types, arterial pressure monitor and venous pressure monitor. The arterial pressure monitor is used to detect the pressure between the blood coming from AV fistula and blood pump. Now what is the use of venous pressure monitor? This part usually measures positive pressure in the system. Low blood flow or any other disconnection in the circuit represents low venous pressure. The next part is about catheter used in dialysis. The catheter is used for exchanging blood from the patient to the dialysis machine. The catheter is of two types with cuff and without cuff. Catheter without cuff is used only for shorter time in peritoneal dialysis. Catheter consists of two openings, red color and blue color. Red colored opening indicates removing of arterial blood from the patient's body into the machine. Blue color indicates venous opening where purified blood is allowed to pass through the patient. What will be the problems in dialysis machine and how to troubleshoot them? Person may be infected when operating the machine, so be careful when handling disposable products. Make sure the water dialysate concentrate are good in quality in order to enhance performance and safety. Confirm all cable connections are connected safe to prevent electric shocks. Do not operate the machine with wet or bare hands. Always use gloves to prevent infections. 
Be sure to keep the machine clean and safe. Thoroughly clean the droplets, stains of blood as soon as possible to prevent from infections. Maintenance of your dialysis machine. Calibration must be done regularly to the dialysis pump and blood pump. Preventive maintenance must be done to avoid equipment breakdown. Accurate timing must be maintained for ultra filtration rate. Clean and disinfect the machine after using on each patient. Clean the machine from top to bottom using disinfectant cloths or wipes. Install the machine in a place where it is free from moisture. Check the power supply. Check the ground connections properly. What will be the risks of performing dialysis? In hemodialysis, the risk may include low blood pressure, anemia, difficulty sleeping, muscle cramps and other bloodstream infections. In peritoneal dialysis, it causes weakening of abdominal muscles, hernia, stomach pain and infections in the abdominal cavity. What happens if there is a power failure during dialysis? During power failure, the dialysis machine stops working. Lights will turn off and an alarm indicates power failure in the machine. The blood pump is operated by hand either to return the blood immediately or to keep the blood in circulation in case if the machine gets power soon. Once the blood is returned to the patient, the circuit must be disconnected and the surgeon will ask the patient to come for another day. If the power is on immediately after a power cut, the system will be able to resume the filtration process. If you want to learn more about dialysis machine, kindly visit our blog www.learnbiometengine.blogspot.com and to get support for your healthcare business, please contact us in the given mail ID. If you would like to receive update of a new video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Also, please do comment your favorite topic or medical devices you are willing to learn. You can follow us in the social media sites to receive updates of a healthcare engineering team. Thank you for watching.